about to make some magic. It is uh, October 9th, Saturday. I just put some of this uh, Brussels sprouts in here with some lemon Tehran aioli. Some of this crack right here. This is my new crack, I'm sorry. So a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of pepper, and I mixed it all up and I used avocado oil, sprayed the bottom and sprayed the Brussels sprouts a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take them, put them in my air fryer. Set them for 15 minutes. I know the numbers are erased, but I know exactly where I have it at. So I'll set it for 15 minutes and I'm gonna let it cook on one side and then I'll be back. It's been 15 minutes. Here goes the Brussels sprouts. Go ahead and give them a little toss. Put them back in the air fryer and set it for another 15 minutes. But this time you need to lower temperature and I'm actually gonna cook it for 20 minutes there you go still following with the meal plan you all already know that I have a very small space and I'm about to make this cabbage along with some cilantro red onions green peppers some uh, bebere which is hot peppers and some mit matai these are Ethiopian uh, seasonings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started so you guys can see how I meal prep for other people. I don't just walk the walk, I talk it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my peppers, my onions and my cilantro in there. Put my bebere, cause y'all know I like I like spicy stuff. Not everybody can eat spicy. So I try my best to be considerate of others. But I am going to put, I am going to put a little bit, so just a little bit. Okay. And the reason why I do that is to give it taste because I don't like to get bored from eating vegetables. I like to make sure the vegetables that I eat are uh, lightly seasoned and I enjoy them. So. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt, some pink Himalayan salt. Whatever came out. And actually, I was gonna put black pepper, but it doesn't need it. Then all you do is give everything a toss. And you keep it at low, you do not um, overcook it because you want it to be a little crunchy still. You don't want it to be soggy, all right? Then you go ahead and you cover it up. You wait for your Brussels sprouts and you put it together. This is for a person that eats a vegetarian meal and also a um, um, non, well, I'm not going to say vegan, but almost close to vegan meal. But I'm also going to have some of this. So, yep, Saturday, just because it's the weekend doesn't mean you can't eat healthy. The Brussels sprouts are done. As you can see, they look beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and serve it. I already served my plate because I have limited space and I have to make sure I have space to put everything together. I normally don't incorporate rice in my diet. Um, this is only um, three ounces or two ounces and a half, two and a half ounces of rice, the spicy cabbage. And I'm going to add this to put the plate together. And then I'm going to show you how I pack it up. And I'm going to add some of these Brussels sprouts to this plate. All right. And there you have it. So here's the plate. And I'm about to put the um, salad together to show you exactly how I meal prep their food. So, so here's how I make the salad. I pour some in here. I already 
as you can see i already rinsed it out i wash everything everything okay so here goes my plate my cucumbers my turnips i use only a little bit of tomatoes and and actually before i put the the cucumbers in i'm going to put a little bit of dill weed okay I'll put a little bit of dill weed on top of the lettuce i'm gonna take some cucumbers okay and she can actually um split this in two now i don't gotta be all fancy about it okay i just gotta make sure that she eats it because oftentimes people say oh yeah i want to eat right i want to eat right and then you know they end up leaving the food in the refrigerator and they don't eat it so okay tomatoes which i grew <laughs> i can honestly say i'm gonna add a little bit more of the dill weed okay then i'm going to add some avocado spray if i have any more let's see let's see I only had a little bit so that's okay and i'm not gonna put any um i'm not gonna put any salt because the salad will get it, it, it it'll get wielded so i'm not gonna put anything um i'm not gonna put no uh, salt on it however i am gonna pack the um lime um mixture that i'm gonna make in order for her to use the salad so that goes the salad see how easy it is to put together and there you have it the meal prep she has been noticing results um she doesn't eat meat so i try to prepare beautiful veggies for her her pineapple uh spinach mix little concoction that i made here her four ounces of fruit and she can actually split this in half with this salad and have two meals so yeah there you have it